Hello, I'm Judah. And I'm Zion. And we are the Amateur Film Critics. And today, we are doing the most hyped Spider-Man film in the entire century. Spider-Man 2002. (laughs) We we decided we saw Spider-Man No Way Home. Yes. Let it less precedent that. We both really liked it. Are we right, Zion? You liked it? Yes, we really liked it. By the way, we're definitely going to put a spoiler warning because uh, we're definitely yes. bringing this up for a reason. You know, and not just some yeah. random. We're definitely putting but, a spoiler warning. Like, for um, but we decided to go back and review Spider Man, uh, to, 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 Tobey Maguire's first Spider Man. Yeah. Uh, so, I've already seen all three of his Spider-Man films. The only Spider-Man film I haven't seen is the second yeah. Andrew Garfield film. That's the only one I haven't yeah. watched yet, but it's on my movies anywhere, so. Plus, yes, plus. so... <laughs> So, so wh- I know this is like completely off trend, but by the time this is coming out, even by the time we're filming this, like Spider Man No Way Home has been in theaters forever. Everybody already yeah, knows who shows up in it. Know. Um. Uh. So you probably were so yeah, but so, uh, boiled on social media, but you were probably spoiled on social media. I was not. I was like, I had to wait like over a week to see this movie, and I stayed off of social media religiously, and I was not spoiled. <laughs> so I was very proud of myself because that did not happen and, with a lot of other past. Uh, and on the festivus, and on and on our festivus episode, I predicted something correct that Andrew Garfield was lying and that him and Tommy McGuire worked yes. on the show up in the movie. So, but anyway, yeah, yeah. we're not talking about. We're not here to talk about that. While we both may like, No Way Home was an incredible and it's going to be a pop culture yeah, moment for like the rest of time. I mean, even um, we decided that we would go back and watch Tommy McGuire Spider Man. I'm even All wearing a branded. Tom Holland's. Spider-Man shirt for this review. Very nice. Because he's the best Spider-Man. Um, uh, <laughs> yes, but I, like I have seen this movie before, but it had been a very long it, time, yeah. so I was sort of watching it brand new for me, while yeah. Zion had seen it, though. So, yes, that's, that's the perspectives we're coming in with our review today. I always think I'll just get right into it and read our plot summary. How's that sound? Yeah, that's fine by me. All right. Spider-Man centers on student Peter Parker, played by Tobey Maguire, who, after being bitten by a genetically altered spider, gains superhuman strength and the spider-like ability to cling to any surface. He vows to use his abilities to fight crime, coming to understand the words of his beloved Uncle Ben, with great power comes great responsibility. That is a very loose plot, I would say. It's a very loose plot. (laughs) That, that, that that's really just the like story of like spider-man in general that's not the story of this movie for sure so talking about the plot obviously there's a little more going on um yes. the big thing being uh, uh as, as long as we see peter parker's origin story um we see the green goblin or also known as norman osborne uh, we see Norman Osborn become the Green Goblin through basically his company really uh, kind of me- messing with him over and over again. Yeah. Uh, there was this little thing where they he injected himself with, like, you know, experimental chemicals, which made him, like, strong and gave him an alternate personality. Uh, but he slowly, like, goes more into that and becomes more evil. Um, and at the same time, his son sort of is going down a darker, well, not a darker and darker path, but not, he does get his heart broken, which yeah, really like but, all, but, which that heartbreaking we'll talk, messes with his father. We'll talk more about the characters on a later subject. We'll talk more yeah, about each of the characters. There was but. a lot, and 
and I think that brings me to my first conclusion about the plot. There's a lot more to the plot than I remembered there being. Yeah. There um, is. We're actually following more character storylines than you expected. Like, I expected to follow Willem Dafoe and, yeah. and Peter Parker like, pretty well. I was not expecting right. to follow Mary yeah. Jane and... And Green Goblin. Norman. But no, Norman Osborn's his, son, yeah. What's what's his name? I don't, I don't. I want to say it starts. The, okay, well, well, y'all can yell at us in the comments about that. But yeah, I was not expecting I, for them to have their own sort of stories going on through this. Yeah, it is. So, weird. and in my opinion, though, it does help make the plot more interesting. Yeah, I feel like if we would have just focused on one of the characters or two, it wouldn't have been as mm-hmm. interesting as, as this movie came out to be. Um, yeah. But I feel like they generally work the characters so like like they yeah. match up the storylines well, in my opinion, in this one. Yes, absolutely. They, it's mashed up well, man. And you seem to follow... Everyone very easily. My mouth thinks it's that. I don't think they're that yeah. complicated of storylines, but yeah, they're not. They're not complicated by any means. But the amount of like seeing these characters' lives play out in that way, it, uh-huh. it helps like bolster the plot. I don't know if that's the right word I'm using. I don't. Um, know and what you're I think it helps break. The formulaicness that can happen in a lot of superhero movies. Don't get me uh-huh. wrong. I think we yeah. both love superhero movies, but they can definitely be formulaic. But like things like, um, I think this, they might have mashed these characters' plots better than the first Avengers film. Not saying I don't like that. Not not yeah. not saying I don't like the first Avengers film. I'm just saying they might have worked. They they might have tied each of these characters' storylines together in one film yeah. than that Avengers film did because it and I, I would really agree with that. Movie. There's much more intertwiningness with these characters, and so it's able to run more smoothly throughout the plot. Um, but but wait, and like now that the I Avengers, think about it. it's obviously different. Because you had multiple yeah, movies explaining some of the characters' yeah. origin stories. And it's supposed to be a team-up film, not like... Yeah, but at the same yeah, time, I do get what you're saying, Zion. I would yeah, agree with yeah. what you're saying. I think that's a astute observation. Yeah, because if we compare this to that film, there's definitely way more action in the, that Avengers film. In the Avengers, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, but... So... Uh, Going on from the plot, though, the effects would definitely be where this film falls short. If you do, I don't know if you agree. Well, well but the that CGI did not age well. The CGI part d- didn't age as well, but at the same time, you can kind of say the same thing for Jurassic Park as well. So that's it's oh, no, because of I what think time they Park was ahead of its time. No offense. I think Jurassic Park CGI is, w- is better than this CGI. Well, I'm just saying because of the time it came out and because of the limitations, yeah. they definitely didn't use a lot of... Where Jurassic Park used a combination of, of yeah. you know, practical effects and CGI, this was one of the first films to actually use... Mostly CGI for its effect. Yeah, this is where we get to that point where they think they can use CGI for almost everything, um, and so it it does mess with it does mess with the looks of it again. So it, it, its effects they don't age well, but again, that's going to be really common with movies of this time. So it's hard to hold yeah. that too much against it. Um, but I guess specific specifically out of the effects the green the green goblin's costume like when he's on his flying thing that that would be one of the worst parts for me okay like what do you mean like when 
he's in the costume and he's on the flying thing? Is that what? And he's on the flying thing. He's actually flying around. I think that's like one of the parts that like really. And the problem with that is such a like. I think I get more used to the effects and stuff like that as the the more times I actually watch this, you know. So it does. Yeah, and I can see that. That that does make sense. Okay, well. The um, next part you have on here is the beginning. Well, so do you want to explain that a little bit well, more in depth? One of the effects that I... Oh, yeah. One more effects I want to talk about that isn't really CGI related. Oh, well, there's there's a lot of effects that I do think they do to do well. One of the effects is when it's Norman Osborn talking to, to do the Green Goblin through the mirror. They pulled that effect yes, off. I, well, I really. It, I like. I was thinking there's that. a chance that there's not any effects there because do they really show ever show like his face? Well, it's other than through well, the mirror. Well, well, like camera effects. Camera, they, yeah, that's that's yeah, camera yes, and special yeah, lighting. Effect, that is like but, masterclass cinematography, in my opinion. That was like really yeah. good to watch. Man, then the the other scene I liked is where uh, Tommy McGuire like catches all the food on the lunch tray. I think that's another. Yes, and even though maybe, that I'm did take sure many. I'm pretty sure have seen that meme. <laughs> yeah, I do like that. It... Oh, yeah. Oh, excuse I me. Forgot to turn down my phone. For sure. <laughs> Jarvis. Jarvis is like, hey, pay attention to the MCU. Um. <laughs> But yeah, like that one yes. scene, and everybody's seen the meme where he's like, "It took Tobey Maguire 485 takes because he wanted to do it in real, or it like, like yeah. for real." And people are, and it's like, and that's why he's the best Spider-Man. And I was like, "Okay, y'all, calm down here." But yes, that is a good scene for sure. I do agree with that. Oh, um, and then we got now, the beginning. Yeah. So do you want to go more in depth on film. that? Uh, I don't remember why I put it on here, but I just felt it's kind of a tropey thing to do in superhero movies now with the main character narrating yeah. to us as if this has happened in the past. Yes, uh, yes. And that's kind of what they do here. I mean, it, it could argue that this was one of the first ones, and so most films are tr- trying to copy off of it, but... Yeah, I and, mean, and like I really even with the tropiness yeah. of it being narrated, and like the tropiness of, of like just the vel- like the superhero origin story, like the way it all is. Yeah, that would be considered a trope today, but I, I really think like back then in in two thousand two, before superhero movies like you know got super popular because the MCU, that was like that was kind of nuanced, and it was like. Mm-hmm. It was like the, it was one of the first signs, other than the Batman films, I would say. Uh, from yeah, the 80s. it was like one of the first times that superhero movies like could be seen as like, hey, these are popular movies, and these could potentially like this, like these can be real films in a way. This film and the first X Men film probably, yes, hey, no, so so darted the whole modern. Superhero right now, yeah. But yeah, and so honestly, it's probably like it's probably these movies that are the reason that like the that they're the we, reason like the MCU we got even, greenlit we, in yeah. the first place. Yeah, yeah, I the reason see we, that. Like, if without the popularity of these, we wouldn't have the MCU. And when you think of that, that is really crazy to yes. think about. Crazy to think about. So and then the now, how do you film. feel about the? Yeah, how do you feel about the ending? So, so basically, Norman, no, no, no Green Goblin ends up being killed, uh, uh, and so Spider Man is just taking him back. Spider Spider Man or Tobey Maguire is taking him back, yeah. and then Green Green Goblin's son, which we should, who we should probably know the name of. But we should don't. Harry. It was Harry. Just yeah, it was Harry. So, I believe. Green Goblin's son sees Spider-Man laying him on the bed, and he thinks that Spider-Man is Spider-Man is evil now. Yeah, because he, he doesn't know that Green Goblin and 
Yeah, he doesn't know that Spider-Man directly killed himself. He doesn't, I mean, he doesn't, no, wait, Spider-Man did not kill himself, pardon me. No. Uh, he doesn't know that Green no. Goblin technically killed himself and uh-huh. that it was, that his dad was even Green Goblin in the first place. So, yeah, um, it is. And then the thing about the ending I remember the most is, is is when Mary Jane goes to him and and actually wants to be with them, and then Peter Parker turns her yeah. down because basically it's because he, oh I forgot why it's basically because he it's because everyone near he doesn't him want our caught is what he yeah thinks. yeah he thinks even though his. Well, his aunt did go to the hospital, so I guess... Yeah, his aunt went to the hospital, his Uncle Ben died, Uh, she got kidnapped, like, it was all because they were close to him, other than Uncle Ben dying, I guess, though he was a little bit responsible for Uncle Ben's death. Yeah, he was. Um, So, I can kind of see what Peter Parker is coming from, but then again, that was your chance, dude. You missed it. And... That that was your... It, it is interesting because I think it really does set up the idea that Sam Raimi, I believe, is the one who directed these. He had he had this vision for a trilogy to happen. Yeah. I don't know. I obviously don't know what happens in the other ones, but it does feel like he he had a vision for at least a sequel. I don't know if he had like the entire trilogy in his head planned he, out yet. I think this is a good trilogy. Uh, um. It definitely sets up a lot of the what the character's motivations are in the next two films, yeah. but which ties yeah. us into uh, the characters. It does ties into the characters. So first, so, we'll talk about Peter Parker. Peter Parker. Uh, this is the this is Tom the big one because so mm-hmm. many people argue that he's the best Spider-Man. Like, I, obviously, Andrew Garfield's gotten a lot of hate as being Spider-Man. Um, and then Tom Holland's he's, slightly split. Some people don't like him. They see him as, like, just a younger Tony What Stark. is your opinion? Really Who like. is your... In my opinion, I really like Tom Holland, and I think that he is the that, best Spider-Man. Well, that might be because he's the only one you've watched... He, he's the one that I so technically so. grew up with, and he's the only one I did watch all of his movies. Yeah, but so thought could, 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 could be biased, but I'm gonna say I like Tobey Maguire as my yeah. favorite Spider-Man. I feel like I knew you're gonna say that. For I sure. like how they don't. I like how they take him out at the high school setting, which is different from what well, what they do with yes. Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire. Uh, I feel like people don't like Andrew yeah. Garfield's that must much is because so he doesn't look like he's he is he he is in high school or college. He just well, looks. I don't really older. think you could say so that about don't. Toby Maguire either. Toby. Well, Maguire but he looks, grows. He is not he, in he, high school for that age. long. He's not in high school the entire time, and that's what does redeem how old his character looks a bit. There, yeah, is that we we see him, and he, it's been like he's been out of high school for around a year by the end of the mm-hmm. movie. I'm guessing. Um, yeah. So, actually, it would be less than a year because it would have all happened a little bit after Thanksgiving is when that funeral would have happened. Uh-huh. But still, um. It, it, it is a good... It, it does help, like, his situation there. I, I would just... I really say the... The biggest thing for me with Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man is that I... Okay, so I, I'm split. Because I do like Tom Holland's Spider-Man better. But at the same time, I almost see them as separate characters in a way. Okay. Um, can, can you see where I'm coming from? Like, I feel like... The evaluate MCU, on that. I, I feel like when the MCU said, we're bringing Spider-Man in, Kevin Kevin Feige or whatever, he was like, okay, but we need to make him different from the past two Spider-Man because we've done Spider-Man so much that 
Well, we need he needs to be a little I, bit different. He is kind of different. I think Tony Stark was his uncle Ben. I think. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I think. And, and it and, is and said that, that Tom did have an uncle I, Ben, but like. It, it, technically, he seem but like he doesn't seem like a thing. Yeah. Effect. When Tony's uh, a dark death, that's basically one of the whole major plot points of of uh, yeah. so, a Binderman Far From Home. So, uh, I yeah. can kind of see where you're going with that. I kind of not. If you compare, I feel like he does have a better relationship with his girlfriend at times than the other Oh, two definitely, do. yeah. But, well, in all fairness, the end of he, No Way Home does mess with that a little bit. Yeah, but, I mean, Which, we... No Way Home no was, might, mark, might mark a change in Tom Holland, and he might seem much more like Spider-Man after No Way Home. Okay, uh... I don't but know. yeah. But anyway, Tobey Maguire's I Peter Parker, I will say, is very good, and I think that with it's also we have to remember that at this point it's original. Like at this point in time, right. Tobey Maguire's Spider Man, they were interpreting the comics, and I think they did a good job at that for sure. Uh huh. Um, his aunt and uncle, they are good, but at the same time, they the, the mo- most of their th- thing is to be motivation for yeah toby mcguire does that make sense I yeah they have much of their own backstory or yeah they don't have maybe not much story of, or whatever yeah they basically further they're supposed to be peter parker's role models and who he looks up to and that's yeah. for advice and that absolutely even comes into play with the other two films as well so okay Let's yeah so to we'll Green see Goblin. That, yeah, Green Goblin's son. Um, He's an interesting one. Harry. Harry Osborne. I forgot Harry. it again. Sorry. He's not a forgettable Harry. character, but he, we can forget his name multiple times, apparently. He, is a for, he has a forgettable name, but... He does. What What do you think of his character? Uh, I... I'm trying to think of my general thoughts about this, this character in particular. Because I do, he I, is there, yeah. he does things that I don't like, well, like he... Oh, yes, absolutely. He does, like, things that you're not supposed to like, but, you know, can he basically... I would have to rewatch the other two films in order the to get my full opinion. Yeah, because they're going to mess with his character a whole lot. They... they know that. Yeah, they um, mess with I would say lot, it's an lot. interesting thing, because one, he's being set up for future roles in different movies, but at the same time, I think it's interesting because he, he has a lot more depth to him. He, he is set up to sort of be like a bit of the spoiled, like... <clears throat> Uh, privileged mean, child or whatever you want to say but he obviously has like father issues and he is not uh completely we're filming he, we're leaving for dinner in 20 minutes okay well i'll be out in the but he okay let's hurry okay up then. he obviously has like father issues and uh but like i think it's the, i think it's his issues with his father that yeah. give him more depth and so I would say that he's yeah. an interesting he's an interesting character and I think he's a good he's a well written character. Uh he's just not likable is is the problem. And honestly that makes sense. Yeah. Not all characters are gonna be likable. Well I wouldn't say he is uh, 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 boiled that much. I do agree with you I don't that know. you're not supposed to like him that much. I, I mean they I, do I say, say things about his character was I think I would say that part of his character was supposed to like maybe be like a class commentary. I I don't know if that's what they were trying to do. It's obviously I less don't. than in like other movies, but I did not see that. But anyways, let's go on yeah, to it's, it's Mary Jane. 
So Mary's yeah, main Mary's character Jane. is she has an abusive family and so she is trying yes. to get out of that whole relationship with. Um, and so we see her work multiple. No, no, we see her try to work jobs just to like get away from her family. I know. And you can yeah, also absolutely. see as well. And you can also see one of the reasons why she goes with Harry in the first place is because he probably has a bunch of cash she could share his wealth with her. With yeah, I, I would. So I mean, I, like, liked her I could. I could totally see that she saw him as like a mode of security to like know yeah. that she doesn't ever like have to worry for sure. Um, I think that's interesting about her character is. I I think that. She's slightly more of a damsel in distress uh, in this film, but she's yeah. still not like a completely like useless or bad like bad character. Yeah, I just think she's that not if she was made today, and obviously we have Zendaya's version to show that she would have fought a lot more. Yeah, than she did. Yeah. Because because movies have totally changed since. Yeah, movies have changed a lot yeah. since this time. It's it's weird to think about it because this weird is to think actually about, like it's totally actually it's two thousand two, so this movie is exactly twenty years old. This it, whenever it came oh. out on on this year, it would be twenty years old. So it is an interesting. She's an interesting character, and I'm I I, I, I I don't think they did anything wrong with making her. I just think. But you know what? She does try to fight back against the guys in the alley. So, yeah. you know what? Forget what I said about Damsel in Distress. I, I, I would say that she does she does fight back, and she is a pretty strong character. Alrighty. Let's go to Green Goblin. Job, yes, Green Goblin's obviously the big character we gotta talk about. Because Willem Dafoe's big performance, character. in my opinion. He, just... he has a great performance. There's definitely a reason why they focused a lot on his character in Spider-Man yes. No Way Home because he's basically probably one of my favorite Spider-Man bad guys, you know, villain characters because he, I don't know, he gives a good performance. He, yes, oh yeah. His character does have a motivation, which is to, you know, but, 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 but we see his character get betrayed and stuff like that. And so, yeah, he has that emo- he has a lot an of emotional backstory. There is a lot of, there's a whole lot of depth to him. And then there's also this whole, like, you know, he has m- mental issues too. This, this, uh, well, the mental issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because of the chemicals, mainly. Yeah, it, it's definitely because of the chemicals, but the, but there, there was still there for sure. So in my opinion, I'm just gonna say, it. in my opinion, Green Goblin was my favorite character in this film. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's go to Willem favorite character. Yeah, let's go mostly to favorite of characters. Willem performance. Yeah, let's switch to favorite characters. It's a tie between Green Goblin and Jade Shona Jameson. No, no. Yes. What's the? What's the? What's the? What's his name? No, yeah, J. Jonah Jameson. His name is J. Oh. Jonah Jameson. What makes it confusing is the actor's name J.K. Simmons. Oh, so, yeah. That's what yeah, I'm but thinking. his name is J. Jonah Jameson. That's his name. I liked his oh. character because you you can kind of see his character does okay. cause a lot of some plots in the film as well. Because... What? Do you need me? Do you no. need to interview me? No, we don't need to interview no, you, Grandma. No, we don't need to interview you. Yeah. Grandma says hi, Zion. My back. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I get what you're saying about J. Joe and James, that for sure. Is that he causes a lot of, like, how the public sees stuff so, up. Uh, he. He caused the public to see uh, uh, Spider-Man yeah. as more of that menace character because he explains in the film that that if he can't find any good pictures of Spider-Man, then he'll make him a bad guy or something like mm-hmm. that. But he explains yeah, it in the yeah, film. Well, but anyway. It's all kind of based around money. So he is a greedy character yeah. in a way. 
but it is interesting because I feel like that started that whole that started the big thing about like you know that like that's such a big defining part of of yeah. Spider Man's character is people in the media he's portrayed as a bad guy, but uh, he still he has yeah, very yeah, good intentions still... and the people themselves like him. So yeah. All right, let's go um, to favorite right, so, scene of the film. Favorite scene. This is tough. It's tough because I, I don't. I, you know, you kind of see ones. this movie as a whole. I yeah, like... you, you definitely see this movie as a whole. Maybe the wrestling scene. That's a good one. That's I'm a good scene. Think yes, scene. I would say. I would say I liked the scene where. Uh, he uh, where he fights uh the green goblin in like the decrepit house the, the yeah i also scene like was where good. i do find it a little cheesy that the people threw trash at the green goblin and yeah. that's what saved the day <laughs> but like the my, green goblin fight in the in the decrepit house was really good in my opinion yeah um i would also say that i also like the scene where green goblin talks to himself through the mirror but Oh yes, thousand percent. That is a really well scene. done scene. All right, but now right, so for that brings us to our rating rating the films. This is a five out of five. I um, knew you were gonna go there. <sighs> oh, it's tough. Oh. I think I guess my problem is it. I really just got to get over the fact that I like Tom Holland more than Tony. Well, but Fire. that shouldn't. And, be yeah, that a shouldn't affect why. my rating. So. Zion, I, I think this is amateurly approved. I think I'm going to give it Amateurly approved. Up to do. There y'all go. All so right. So that was Spider Man, uh, Tobey Maguire's version. Um, we will be watching probably, I, at least I will be watching the next two films. We probably not do reviews on them unless we watch them. We're like, holy cow, we have to talk about these. But Maybe for the third close. one. Maybe the third one. Maybe you think the third one deserves it? Okay, we might do um, one for the third one, but you might have to like season four. Just warning y'all. Yeah. All right. Um, so it's been nice seeing y'all. Uh, follow Goodbye, our Instagram y'all. and bye. Hopefully we post on there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna try and remember to post on our Instagram. Bye bye.